Narcissists want your submission. In this episode, we're going to talk about the one thing that all narcissists want from you. Narcissists want your submission. Regardless of the type of supply a narcissist wants, all narcissists want to control you. They are not interested in getting your cooperation nor participation. What is really important to a narcissist is getting your submission to their demands. Some narcissists want supply, money, attention. Some narcissists want to be able to talk over you, have you listen to them more than they do to you. But all narcissists want you to submit to their dominance. And that is in any regard. They want their superiority to be acknowledged. These are red flags that indicate their lack of empathy and having absolutely no regard for you at all. The main idea that the narcissist wants to put forth to you is that your submission is how it goes here. The narcissist wants you to know that this is how it is. Everything is decided by them and not you. The mutual give and take is non-existent. The direction is one way all the time. That is how the narcissist expects and wants it to be. The narcissist wants this type of one-way dynamic in every situation. What the narcissist expects and always wants is your submission. Their attitude is, oh no you don't, you don't get your way. You don't get it your way. I'm right and it doesn't matter what you think. Depending on the matter at hand, you can experience a great deal of anger and disappointment. The day will come when the realization or the truth about this relationship is open. The narcissist will never be there for you in the way that you are there for them. And they will be angry and furious about it as well. This type of relating isn't sustainable. And this type of relating will end and end badly. Either you have to severely limit your interactions with these narcissists or the day will come when you decide enough is enough and you have to assert yourself. And that is where the narcissist will become enraged, extremely angry and irritated. They see it as an insult that you are not cooperating, that you just don't get it. The narcissist wants your submission each and every time. They feel very offended that you are not following their rules. And you are over there thinking, are you serious? Even if it is obviously not fair, 
all the normal standards of behavior is out the window. None of it makes one bit of difference to the narcissist. They want you to throw yourself away. You have to make a choice. Is it you or is it them? Even if you are incredulous, they will be absolutely unable to do it for you. The narcissist will be completely furious and rage at you in a way that is completely inappropriate to this situation. The narcissist will reject everything you say. When this comes from a parent or a partner, it can be shocking, very sad, and extremely infuriating to see what you thought was a mutual relationship is only one way. It's one way. Pick you or them. Being considerate and nice to these creatures will come back to bite you in the end. To conclude, once you see these red flags of control, domination, and expecting your submission, step way back. You don't have to end the relationship, but realize that this is how the relationship will go every time it's their way. Put up your boundaries and keep a distance between you and the narcissist. And never share anything that is important to you with these types of creatures. You can be sure that this is just the moment that the narcissist will force their domination and expect your complete submission to prove that they are your overlord, your supreme being. It will be like a life or death struggle to get you to submit to them once again. If you choose yourself, even if this is the first time ever, and even if it is an insignificant matter, the narcissist will still require and demand your submission. This type of interaction may even happen multiple times until you see that it is what it is. The narcissist always wants your submission and it will never change, even if it is very important to you, even if you make it known to the narcissist that it is very important to you. The narcissist will hold it over you more than ever. I hope this helps. And if you want to see more about the self-centered narcissist behaviors, see this video next.